Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can do your makeup to brighten your day. Where I am today, it's dark, it's rainy, it's depressing. Uh, maybe you have had some things going on in your life that are bothering you and you feel like you're stressed out and you just need a pick-me-up. What can you do to adjust your makeup to kind of lift your mood so that when you look in the mirror, it's a little more festive, a little more colorful, a little more interesting. Okay, I'm going to give you some ideas right now. I have one, two, three, four, five different ideas of how we're going to achieve this. Number one, this is a good time to bust out your glittery eyeshadows. Today, the glitter in my eyeshadow is ColourPop. Meow, which sadly this color is discontinued. It's a beautiful silver glitter eyeshadow that has a little bit of pink in it. And um, I'm sure that you have some glittery eyeshadow in your collection. If not, go out and pick one up. But that's what's on my lids right now. And just in case you're curious about the other colors I have on, for our brow bone highlight, I have on Bites, which is just kind of a, a creamy white shade. There we go. And I don't think this is available anymore either, but this is, I didn't know I was going to be doing this video today. I kind of was thinking about it, what I was going to do for a video as I was doing my makeup. Otherwise, I wouldn't have used any discontinued products. And then, let's see, as an eyeshadow base, I put on the lid and in the crease, I put Girl Crush. So that I just wanted to give it like a sort of a, a taupey base. I believe this one is still available, but that's just kind of underneath. And then in the crease, I used Tank, and this is still available. And I, that's just what I used to sort of darken up that crease. And then the meow is kind of mixed in with this in the crease and then on the lid. So, you know, whatever you want to do for something a little more dramatic, a little more glittery, it's just going to kind of give you a little bit of a pick-me-up. And this is also the time to bust out those falsies. I have on our Dell Demi Wispies. And I love these lashes. I'm not even curious to try anything else because these are to me the exact right amount of drama that I'm looking for. I don't want my lashes to look too crazy, but I want to definitely be able to see a difference. I don't want them to look like my real lashes. So I have on Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. So that's another way you can kind of give yourself a little bit of a pickup. And then another thing you can do is use a blush that's brighter than you would normally use. Today I have on Clinique Berry Pop and you know you can go as subtle or as bright as you want to with this so I, I go kind of subtle with my blush as a rule but I could have gone brighter if I wanted to but I saved the bright part for my lipstick I have on Colourpop Poppin and this is a bright fuchsia matte lipstick Colourpop is going to be launching a new formula of lipsticks any day now. I don't know exactly when the launch date is, but if you're interested in these, you might want to stalk their website, um, their Instagram, their social media, and find out when these are going to be released. But I think it's going to be any day now. And this is a fantastic formula of lipstick. Um, it's, it's matte. And it's very, very pigmented. One of the most pigmented lipsticks that I've ever used. It's just a, a regular twist-up lipstick. And the beauty of these, this is the only color that I have. I got this for free when I placed an order around the time that ColourPop hit 2 million subscribers on Instagram. I just happened to be placing an order that day. And they were sending out, anybody that placed an order during that time frame got this free lipstick. So I got to try this ahead of the launch. And uh, I love it. It's not 
uh, drying at all. It's If you don't like matte lipsticks because they suck the life out of your lips, this isn't like that. It feels wonderful on your lips and it really lasts a long time. The only thing is you have to use a lip liner with it because um, otherwise it probably would bleed outside the lines. But uh, that's what I have on my lips and I figured a bright fuchsia was exactly the thing to bust out on a day that was so, so gloomy and depressing outside. So that's a good time to bust out your bright, intense lipsticks. But I, yeah, I don't know the exact date these are launching, but I love it's this one. So I think I probably would get more colors of these after they launch. And just in case you're curious, for a liner for this, I used uh, NYX Slim Lip Liner in Bloom is what I used for a liner with that. And I don't know if Poppin is going to be one of the colors that they make available or not when they do the launch. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know anybody at NYX, so I really don't know. And I saved the best for last because if you want to really make your highlighter pop, I have an interesting technique that I did today. And I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out because I've never done this before. But I kind of had this idea in my head and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I love the results. If you really want to make your highlighter pop, I normally like a subtle highlighter. I don't usually like to go crazy with my highlighter. But uh, let's see if I can get the right angle. But I don't know if you can tell, but my highlighter is really popping today. Let's see. There's like a, a, a really bright sheen attached to it. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not. Sometimes, you know, you can't really tell. But what I did was I took a clear lip balm and I just used a um, EOS lip balm. And I went across the top of my cheekbones with my clear lip balm, and I don't think it really matters what you use as long as it's clear, then put your powder highlighter on top of that, and it's going to make it really pop. Today I happen to use Revlon Rose Glow Highlighting Palette, and um, these are really nice highlighters, but I think they might be on their way out. I saw some of these in a clearance bin. I already had them all. Um... But I was, where was I the, over the weekend? I think it was at Kmart. I saw these in the clearance bin. So I think they might be discontinuing. Either Kmart is discontinuing them or Revlon is discontinuing them. But anyway, um, if you happen to see these on clearance somewhere, whatever they're marked down to, they're definitely worth picking up. I chose this as a highlighter today because I thought it would coordinate nicely with... Um, sort of this pinkish theme. I've got like pink and silver makeup on today. So let me show you what this. So see, it just, it gives you like a glow, but by putting the clear lip balm underneath it, it's gonna enhance it even more. So if you just want a really pow highlighter, um, try that together and it's just gonna give your highlighter something to grab onto and make it even more shiny powerful glowy glittery whatever type of highlighter you're using so I think that's it you guys um oh oh I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you about this today is the day that Pat McGrath famous makeup artist is launching her highlighters and if you are interested in taking a look at this, um, it's patmcgrath.com, P-A-T-M-C-G-R-A-T-H.com. And the thing is, it's a package deal. You can't like just buy one of the products. You have to buy them as a group together. It's $72, which is a lot of money, but um, if... If you want something that's going to be like all encompassing, it comes in two shades, gold or nude. The nude is a pinky nude and 
For $72, you get a brush, you get a pigment, and then you get a two-sided product that has like a balm and a glow on the other side. And you can, and you get a pamphlet explaining like all different ways that you can use these products. Launches today on her site and um, it's in stores at Sephora. Wrote this down because I knew it wouldn't remember. May 10th, it's at Sephora. So if you just want to wait until it hits stores, then I'm sure they'll have testers out and you can look at it. But I doubt that it's going to be at every Sephora. So it might just be the Sephora's like in the big cities. Like where I live, it's probably going to be at Sephora in Boston, but probably nowhere else. And I don't do Boston. <laughs> no offense to anyone who lives in Boston, but... My days of driving into the city are over. It's the traffic is insane. I just, I can't deal with it. The parking is like crazy expensive. No, no. <laughs> so I probably wouldn't have access to uh, these products at a Sephora. The, well, the Sephora's that I shop at anyway. But uh, yeah, check out the pictures online of this highlighter kit thing that she's launching today. It's gorgeous. And... That was the inspiration behind what I did with my highlighter because the products in this kit are a balm, a glowy highlighter, and a pigment. And I thought, well, what if I just took a balm and applied that and then put a glittery, glowy highlighter on top? I figured I could achieve the same type of effect by doing that, and I think I did. It looks looks pretty glowy and... I like it. You know, it's it's definitely, definitely popping. So um, I hope you enjoyed my ideas of how to brighten your day by using makeup. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.